Welcome to the Capture 2020 tutorial series. In this episode, we take a look at focus planes. Focus planes are designed to help you focus fixtures, and it's an object that you add to your design from the library. So let's head over to the library tab and the built-in category, where at the bottom of the list, we can find the focus plane. Let's drag and drop that into the design. Now you can see that a green shape, a grid, appeared in the design. And this, in fact, illustrates the extents of the focus plane. Focus planes are widgets in Capture, which means that when deselected, the only thing you see is the icon of the widget, which in this case is an eye icon. Click on the icon to select the focus plane again. And now we're ready to start working with it. I'm going to move the focus plane up a little bit to the chest height of the actors. Then we will select the fixture and go into focusing mode. Let's turn the fixture on first so that we can actually see what we're doing while focusing. Now, when we're focusing and there are focus planes present, what happens is that anywhere we click to focus a fixture, it focuses on the focus plane, regardless of whether there is anything below it or above it. This means that we can move the mouse past the actor without having the beam jump up and down because we're alternating between the floor and the actor. Similarly, if we were to select the focus plane and move it outside the stage area where there is nothing to focus on apart from the focus plane, it is now possible to focus. Well, you won't see the, the footprint of the beam because there is nothing to light outside the stage, but we can click here to focus the fixture in an otherwise empty area. So let's move the focus plane back on stage and take a look at a few of the view options available for focus planes. So when we are in focus mode of fixtures and there is a focus plane, we can choose between four styles of illustration. The first one simply hides all focus planes. And the second, the default is the grid view. The grid view is helpful to orient in a dark environment. The third mode is a solid white plane. This is quite helpful if you have a lot of dark materials or a cluttered stage, uh, since a plain white surface is much easier to focus on than a variety of materials. Finally, we have the heat map mode, which illustrates different illumination levels uh, and helps us determine whether we have an even focus as well as whether we have the same intensity levels on different parts of the focus plane. Let's take a look at what properties we have available to manipulate the focus plane itself. Let's click on the eye to select the focus plane and go to the design tab and selected items. Here we can adjust the size of the focus plane. Let's use an eight by eight meter focus plane, for example. We can also change the grid size shown for the focus plane. So if we were trying to create four pools of lighting um, in a two by two matrix, we could adjust the grid like this to make it easier when focusing these four pools of lighting. We also have settings available for the lux values corresponding to the darkest and brightest colors of the heat map of the focus plane. This will need to be adjusted um, the especially if you're going between very dark or very bright scenes, but it's also useful as a tool to compare the lighting levels between different scenes where otherwise, for instance, the auto exposure of the view 
might make it difficult to assess the illumination difference between scenes. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.